Uh, hello guys, you're on channel Islam of DC. Uh, my name is Islam of Denise and today I tell and show you uh, the my city uh, Vladivostok. Uh, it's a really interesting video, interesting issue. Uh, let's go! In this chapter about Vladivostok, you will know and see the history of Vladivostok. I'll show and tell you several interesting places. This is Golden Bridge within the Guinness Books of Records. The Eagle's Nest Hill, which is the highest point in Vladivostok, and the railway station, which has a really far long time history. Vladivostok is a city and port in the Russian Far East. It's a political, cultural, scientific and educational center of the region. Uh, on top of that, uh, the administrative center of the Primorsky Krai. Uh, it was founded as a military post for Vladivostok in uh, 1860. In 1880, it received the status of a city. Since 1888, the administrative center of Primorsky region. Since 1938, the Primorsky Krai. Vladivostok is a city of great importance for the entire far eastern part of Russia. Vladivostok has become the capital of the entire Russian Primoria since 2018. The name Vladivostok, by analogy with Vladikavkaz, was formed from a combination of two words, Oven and East. When Vladivostok was first officially declared a city, it had 7,300 inhabitants. The first person born in Vladivostok was a girl Nadia, who was born at the end of September 1863. Every day Vladivostok uh, takes a lot of really uh, different ships. Oh, interesting fact. Uh, in Russia, we say uh, Vladivostok, uh, but in English uh, we pronounce Vladivostok. Uh, Vladivostok railway station was designed and built in the century before last. On November 1893, uh, the railway connects uh, the Vladivostok Usurisk uh, route opened. Uh, in 1996, uh, a memorial steam locomotive EA 3306 was installed in the station platform. Uh, the locomotive was reduced according to the survey drawings at the American Locomotive Company plant in 1944 and delivered in uh, 1945 to the USSR under land lease. Uh, it transported goods along the Far Eastern Highway. Uh, now I want uh, to show you a uh, railway station uh, from inside. Uh, let's go. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I don't uh, shot the railway station inside uh, because it's uh, prohibited uh, our administration. Bad luck. Okay, guys, it's my group mate Nestor. Hello. Uh, Nestor, mm -hmm. how do you use the train? Usually I use the train uh, in uh, winter uh, during the strong blizzards and uh, uh, when uh, uh, the traffic is uh, very hard. Oh, okay. Uh, Nestor, in your opinion, uh, how much uh, does ticket cost uh, on a train uh, compare with uh, bus? The ticket cost on train uh, is uh, cheaper than uh, uh, the tickets uh, on bus. Uh, yeah, I uh, agree with you. Uh, so, uh, ticket uh, on train costs about uh, 24 rubles uh, for passage within city, uh, but uh, ticket on bus uh, costs uh, about uh, 38 rubles for passage uh, within city. So in Vladivostok the train is really important for person. Uh, how do you think about it? Uh, write in comments. Cesarevich Nikolai Alexandrovich, the future emperor Nicholas II, personally took part in the ceremony of laying the silver plate at the base of the station in 1891. In July 2017, a base relief dedicated to this event was opened here.
The facade of the station is made in the neo-Russian style. The source of the building project were he checked Platon Basilevsky and Vladimir Plensen. All those who come to Vladivostok by rail are met by a real Russian cherim. Such architecture here on the shores of the Pacific Ocean is especially unusual. By the way, the appearance and decoration of the station changed several times. In 1924 the double-headed eagle was removed, mosaic panels with coats of arms relieved images from irrigation ceramics on Russia folklore and fairy tale plots disappeared under a layer of plaster. The color of the facade changed from yellow to green. In 70s and 80s of the 20th century the exterior walls were painted green. The restoration of the building carried out in 1994-1996 by the Russian-Italian firm Tegola Canedis brought the building closer to its pre-revolutionary appearance. Uh, now I go to the nest, Eagles Hill. It will be interesting. Uh, the Golden Bridge. After Eagles Nest Hill, I go to the air. Uh, you can see the government building of Vladivostok. Um, it have about uh, 30 or more floors. Uh, it's central square of Vladivostok. Uh, you can see fountain without uh, water. Uh, actually, this fountain uh, have water. Uh, it's uh, it have uh, a lot of water. Monuments to fighters for the power uh, of uh, Soviets. Underground pass. In the underground pass, uh, you can see strange artists, uh, but uh, today I don't see them. Oh, it's uh, really hot and uh, crazy traffic in Vladivostok. Uh, Vladivostok's big band. Uh, Vladivostok have uh, a lot of high peaks and hills, uh, so it uh, trains uh, when uh, you go through the city. Uh, what about the weather? In this city usually it's uh, rain, mainly cloudy, uh, hot wind and uh, really really cold. Uh, for example today is uh, 6 uh, June, uh, but yesterday it was um, cold, uh, was about uh, 8 uh, degrees. Uh, it's, um, it's cold. It's just a beautiful bridge. Uh, when I go to the Eagles Nest Hill, I found uh, this uh, a little uh, square. This is Graf Nikolai Nikolaevich Muravyov Amursky. Uh, you can question me, uh, do I like live uh, in Vladivostok? Oh, no. But I like beautiful views here. They are really nice. I am searching the Eagle's Nest Hill. I am nearly, but I don't uh, find her. Uh, so, I uh, find this uh, monument. Yeah. It's uh, Amaga Sidhi, Buddha statue. What is useful to do near statue? I found this route and uh, I go uh, about, about it. You can see view from this place. Uh, I got lost and I uh, don't know uh, where uh, that uh, Eagle's Nest Hill, uh, but you can see Vladivostok from uh, this hill. It's uh, also nice, yeah. Write your opinions in comments. 
uh, maybe Eagle's Nest Hill uh, over there uh, when uh, construction now uh, because I uh, don't uh, find it uh, but I want to tell you about Eagle's Nest Hill. Eagle's Nest Hill is the um, uh, highest point uh, in the historical part of uh, Vladivostok. Uh, geologically, the hill, uh, like other peaks, uh, belongs uh, to the Sihate Alin mountain, uh, southern part. I see far from this place because of high. Wolf guys, I found this seagull's nest hill, but yeah, there is construction, there is really dangerous, so I'm going better to bridge. The height of the eagle's nest hill with an observation deck is 200 meters. The divorce extending on the hills look especially impressive from the high of one of them. The relief of the city from a high is the business cut of Vladivostok. Visitors to the observation deck can enjoy panoramic views of the Golden Horn Bay, Russian Island, the famous Cable State Bridges, as well as the historical part of the city, built up at the beginning of the 20th century. Numerous ships in the port and green islands in the Sea of Japan at romance to the sea views. It from the observation deck on the eagles, nest hill, that spectacular pictures on the Golden Bridge and the bay are taken. This is one of the most visited tourist attractions in Vladivostok. The Golden Bridge in Vladivostok is one of the five largest cable state bridges in the world. And the length of the main span is the record holder of Guinness Books of Records. Uh, unfortunately, today is a really bad day. I don't uh, go through the Golden Bridge. It's forbidden. It's really bad. Uh, but I can tell you some interesting facts about uh, the bridge, the Golden Bridge. Uh, when developing the bridge project, all the relief and climatic features in the region were taken into account. And also, the Golden Bridge is located in the funicular area and connects the center of city and remote area and also the federal highway. Uh, sizes of uh, Golden Bridge. His length is 1,400 meters. High above water, 64 meters. His width, 28 and half meters. His main span. 737 meters. Uh, start of construction uh, this build uh, is 2008 and opening date uh, this build uh, 2012. The main feature of the Golden Bridge is the unusual shape of its pylons. Bridge supports that don't have an upper diaphragm are two inclined divergent struts. Previously pylons of this design were never erected anywhere. Due to its technical characteristics and original architecture, the Golden Bridge has entered the top 10 largest bridges in the world. At night, due to the relief features and elevation differences in Vladivostok, the illuminated bridge resembles a golden horn in shape. The bridge is built of Russian steel, which was assembled into blocks at the Nahotka shipyard. The shrouds were made by the French company Freysinet International & Company. A whole book has been published about the construction of the Golden Bridge, in which you can trace all its stages. The group Mumitrol in March 2013 recorded the song The Fourth Trolley Bus, the video for which was filmed on the Golden Bridge. And, and also I wanted to show you uh, logs logs on the Eagle's Nest Hill. Uh, in Russia we have traditional uh, when uh, boy and girl uh, love each other uh, we buy log and uh, hang it in special uh, places. 
uh, so uh, we um, protect our loves. Uh, what interesting traditional uh, do you have in your country? Uh, please write about it in the comments. Uh, okay, I show and tell you about uh, all the places on uh, this day. Um, please subscribe your opinion in the comments uh, and subscribe on my channel. And now I go to the, my dormitory uh, that edit uh, this video for you. Uh, bye!